Mr. and Mrs. Mountjoy, are you? Yes. No, Ginger, she'll never buy that. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mountjoy are my servants, and they arranged this encounter. Meeting. Meeting. Good one. Yeah, and what was it you wanted? Funds. I'm organising an expedition to the pole. I'm calling security. Which pole? Undecided. Both poles have their charms. She's not going for it, sir. Quick, get the copper out of the walls! <laughs> In a society whose toothy fake smile is ravaged by the plaque of debt and the vodka burp of subprime mortgages, who will floss into the darkest cavities of our despair and see if there are any gold fillings you could swap for a can of peppermint flavored antifreeze? Yes, it's the surprising inventions of me, Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. <laughs> Soon as it was a bank, sir, we could have just swiped some money. Why didn't you say so before, you idiot? <laughs> well, you seem to be coming along very well, Guy. Thank you, Doctor. And I hope you'll be sticking to nothing stronger than tea from now on. Oh, yes, Doctor. I I'd forgotten how nice it tastes. And your social worker's here to see you again. Great news, Guy. We've traced your family. My daughter? Yes. Alice is 12 now. So maybe once you're better and settled into that job, we could arrange a meeting. so much. I won't let you down. Great to have you on board, Guy. Well, thank you for giving me this opportunity, Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> Morning. Hey, just that, please. 6.99, please. Thank you. Cheers. Do you feel born out of time? Does all the world oh, thank you so much. You've earned it, Guy. You must be See you Monday. Will do. It's not the same for you. Big day today. My social worker has arranged for me to meet up with my daughter. I haven't seen her for five years. Oh, well, good luck with that, Guy. I'm sure it'll go well. Thanks. Can I help you, sir? Excellent work, Ginger. You've infiltrated my nemesis' lair. Uh, do I know you? Ah, deep cover. Perhaps a sip of this will remind you. Oh, not while I'm working, thanks. Oh, do you think that... Oh, no, that's just pop. I decanted it into this to look sophisticated. Oh, well, that's all right, then. There's two! I don't need you anymore, Ginger Two. <laughs> What's this? Great news, Guy. We've traced your family. My daughter? Yes, Alice is 12 now. I'm not sure, sir. It might be important. <gasps> A clue. I'd better memorize it and then burn it. So maybe once you're better and settled into that job, we could arrange a meeting. You've burned it! <gasps> and I forgot to memorize it. <laughs> In a world where it's important to know who your friends are rather than who your daughter is, who will prize open the fist of international conspiracy and see if it's got a 2P in it? Find out next week in The Surprising Adventures of Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. I don't think he's coming, darling. Keep up, Ginger, you little turd! He's gaining on us, sir! Come on! <laughs>